Welcome to Free Bat Movies, guys. Uh, this week we actually aren't in the studio, so we're in Rob's house. Yay! So this is coming live from Rob's house. This is a movie that we watched on Netflix, and you can join in by going to Netflix.com, sign up for a free month of streaming service, and you can join us on these movie reviews. We can do these reviews anywhere, and today we're going to review Safe. So the synopsis of the film is basically you're following a little Asian girl and the triads, the Russian mafia, and the corrupt NYC are all trying to get to this girl because she has an amazing memory and can remember all these codes so there's no paper trail or digital trail or anything. Everybody wants her and you know action hero Jason Statham gets thrown into the mix. So you're kind of following two main characters the whole time because you've got Jason Statham and then you've got the little girl. That little girl. What little girl? That little girl. <laughs> and that's what I felt like the whole time. <laughs> but so you've got you've got Jason Statham who comes in and he he ends up being the hero of the story, but it, he kind of just gets thrown into it. It's so they, they portray him in like so many different lights. I, I like that. And he's not just like there all the time. Right. 100% like, I'm Jason Statham and I'm punching guys all the time. What was, I thought was kind of crazy was like there were so many characters in this movie that they jumped around a lot and he, like he wasn't, you would think with it being Jason Statham in, in the movies that he's been in prior, he's like the main focal point the whole time. Right. This movie, it wasn't yeah. like that at all. It was followed, a, honestly, it followed the little girl more than it followed yeah, him. Yeah, it really did and I was expecting more of it to be like, um, kind of like how the transporter was, kind of like, that's what you're going That's for. what I was thinking yeah, too. I mean, that was my first impression because every every action film where he has a gun and drives a car, it's always, this girl's kidnapped, get that person to a safe spot. And that's why when I saw the movie, the title Safe, I was like, he's protecting this little girl. It's obviously going to be like that. Yeah. And it, it was only a little bit like that. And they throw a little twist in there and they realize that safe has more meaning than just the word safe. Right. What did you like about the film? Honestly, the best parts of this film had nothing to do with the actual like storyline or anything. It was some of the cinematography in this. Oh my god. There were so many shots where they used a lot of props like mirrors, oh, cars. Yeah. And it kind of, it, it didn't add anything to the story necessarily, but the visual aspect yeah. of the story, I'm like, it, I see what they did they there. Had, That's yeah, kind of cool. They, I mean, they did a lot of shots that were, I feel like, unexpected for that type of movie. Like, there was a certain style to it that was really cool. I mean, it really kept you, like, going from moment to moment. And it wasn't like how a lot of action films where you're doing, like, a lot of fights. They're so close up, you don't know what the hell's going on. They had a lot of fluid shots yes. where it wasn't like cut, 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 yeah. change angle. Yeah. And it was it was like a lot of lines that you would have to memorize yeah. prior to shooting that. Well, and, and also choreography as far as martial arts goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen all the Jason Statham films. I mean, if you watch this film, you're going to watch it because it's Jason Statham. You know that he is actually a trained martial artist. And so like when you see him in action, you're like, wow, it's pretty good. And they didn't do the stuff where it's like, one, oh, cut, one, oh, cut, one, oh, cut. No, it was very, it was like pretty believable. And there weren't any shots that I saw where it was like that far away. And then, then there was a yeah. cut. And, yeah. then you, you and it actually looked like that people were connecting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. When people were getting shot. I mean. It takes about a half an hour to get into yeah, the action. But when it hits bit. the action point, it doesn't stop. It's just like action, 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 action. Yeah. All the way up until the end of the yeah. film. And well, it, it gets ridiculous at also, certain points. There's also some points within that action where they only break it up for like maybe a minute or two where it's like, hey, there's going to be a little clever thing that happens and you realize this guy's not just like muscle. He's smart. I mean, his character is like an honest character and he shows that throughout the film. Yeah, he's, he's kind of like an onion. They peel back those they layers really a little do. bit at a time really the entire movie and, and you kind of piece that together throughout the entire movie. Yeah. Okay, well, what are some things that you didn't like? Things that I... I God oh bless me. Can I the just whole, say... Go ahead. <laughs> acting. Oh, dude. The whole first half hour. Like I said, once you get past that first half hour mark and you actually get into, like, the second act and where everything starts coming together, you can actually... Like, that. if you can get past the first half hour, which it was difficult for me, I had to, I actually broke it up into two sessions because uh, I watched the first half hour and I was like, ah, I gotta... Really? Okay, and then I came oh, back to it and I was like, oh... Here it is. The dialogue was god awful. Absolutely forced dialogue. It, and the thing that ruined the movie for me was there was a lot of plot 
um, devices that they used yeah. that they forced upon you. Like it was like, here's this. It was yeah, like, it, yeah. it was a gift wrap box yeah. where it's like you didn't come to the conclusion. It was like, they, yeah, it was, I present this to you, sir. The, yeah, the writing was definitely not Hollywood. It was not like that. Make you think. It was it was like somebody was given a hundred million dollars, probably not a hundred million. But they were given a lot of money to make this film look good and to make it kind of sound good. But they, the B actors they had in that film, it just it didn't add up to the ability that everyone knows Jason Statham for an action guy. But he is a pretty good actor when he's given the right role, and you see that he's kind of like shine, outshining everybody, even with some of the terrible lines he has. So everybody else looks even worse because of the way that everything's written. So I definitely see that as... To add on to that, the worst part was that this, there was no subtlety this movie at all. And you kind of just like... It is an action film. Right. <laughs> but there are things where it's like uh, in a lot of dramas and, and movies like that where you have uh, a character or a set of characters or something that comes in and you're like, that's a little thing and it comes back later and you're like, yeah, oh, there's like a mind blown that moment. Yeah, yeah. But this was like, it was so harsh, like, this is going to be a thing later in the movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> but they, they, they do have one theme that's subtle, but I cannot give it away. Right. When you get to the end or you get to what you think is going to be a really ridiculous climax because they build up a character kind of later mm -hmm. to uh, kind of be like an equal to Jason Statham. You get slapped right in the face by an unexpected event. You're like, oh, I literally was sitting there, I had the laptop, and I'm just like, oh, holy sh! The only plot point that was, that was like, and it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it was like, it's, it was bad that that was actually the most surprising thing. Yeah. You didn't have any, like, you weren't thrown for any loops because it was kind of predictable. Like the predictability of the film kind of hurt the film's image, even though the cinematography was good, martial arts were good. I mean. Uh, I'm but, glad I didn't see it in theaters. That's all I'm saying. Me too. I was going I mean, to see it in if, theaters. If I but, was going to see a movie like this in theaters, I would expect it to be way better acting it's, and writing. I mean, I would expect, you know, the guy who did Rush Hour. I would expect a guy like Brett Ratner to do this because if you can make Jackie Chan look kind of good and speak English a little well, you can salvage a film. <laughs> Bacon rating. Bacon rating. I'm going to give it some good points and some bad points. Cinematography, great. The flow of the film, really good. Some of the relationships between, you know, Jason Statham's character and the young girl. You know, it was not original, but it was okay. So that's going to comprise of the pros. The cons, acting, acting, acting. I mean, it, even the subtitle to acting in Japanese or Mandarin, Chinese, I mean, was not that good. You're reading it and you're like, Fuck, people did not say this <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it like I'm gonna give it a three, three bacon strips out of five, because I I love the action I I loved some of the characters I mean I even loved some of the corrupt characters but the acting really jerked it down. I am I, I'm in love with some of the cinematography aspects of the film where I, it's just I, I don't blame you because it was awesome the little mirror shots and stuff yeah. like that just absolutely amazing that blew my mind. And it's stuff that I'm probably going to steal when I make little short films and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so that stuff was great. And once it got past that half hour point and got to the action, I yeah. loved the action. The fight scenes were absolutely amazing. Yeah, and yeah. like you watch it and you're like, damn! Like, you know, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and this guy yeah. chucking a plate at somebody's throat. That was, that was that awesome. Was awesome. But when you go to the acting and that first half hour build up and then the forced dialogue and the forced plot, plot points devices, and the yeah. little plot holes that were in there and just like, hey, that ruined it for me. <laughs> was, that, was that the, ah, uh, oh, come on! Yeah. Moments? Yeah. So I would have to give it a two bacon <sighs> strips out of five. Two. So, not so great. So overall, that was a fizzle. No sizzling in that pan today. But you know, we had to do an action film, so uh, if you want to come back next week, we're going to review another film for you guys, So, uh, and Dave might actually be here. Not directly here. Not directly here. In the vicinity, in the vicinity of, us. of us. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and get Netflix, because you can watch terrible movies with us, or awesome. We're going to try to find awesome. Watching terrible movies, so you don't have to. See you next week. Bye.